Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you out there. I hope you're keeping healthy and safe um, in this very challenging time. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can create a Bitmoji virtual classroom in Canva from scratch. If you see, this is um, the interior of uh, my classroom and I have personalized it with my decoration, my lessons. Here I have my coffee. And then, you know, I have my landscape here as well on these two windows. The topic of the day, the topic of the lesson. And I also have some instructions for the students to uh, watch this. This is very simple. You can make it really more detailed if you want to. Um, and this video is just to show how you can create a um, virtual classroom in Canva and what you can do with it for your students, for your co-workers. And if you're going to give a training, even for your training as well. And it's, I think it's fun, a very fun way to do it. And it makes things more interesting than a simple slide design. So here, what you can see that I have a topic, I have my agenda, so they need to watch it first, this video, and then they can answer a mentimeter, a survey, or, you know, a reflection before the class. And after doing all that, they can then join me on Zoom for a session to, to, to discuss um, about this topic. Right, let's do this. Uh, together. If you are new to Canva, what I would recommend for you is to sign up to Canva. And if you are already a Canva user, what you need to do is just log in. And both of you, either your new user or uh, existing user, you see this dashboard. Simply head to presentation. We're going to use the 1920 times 1080 pixel. You simply just click on this and they will open up to a new slide. I already have an existing design. For you um, who just opened up a new slide, what you see is a blank slide like this. So we're going to uh, click on templates. All right. And search for virtual classroom. If you have seen my earlier videos on virtual classroom, you see that I use templates from this uh, virtual classroom search. There are a number of templates here. What we're going to start with, we're going to start from scratch, building the interior of the virtual classroom. So we can click on this. You can use this if you want to. This is um, okay. This one looks like a classroom. Um, you have... Um, the, the door you have, this is, I think you can make it bigger if you want to, right? And you have the, you know, uh, the board on the side. But I don't want to use this. I am going to use uh, another one. Let's just open, say, a blank slide. What I want from here is I just want to have all this decoration and furniture list there uh, this is really a, a cool thing from canva so i'm gonna just head back to this blank slide going to head to elements then i'm going to go for empty class room the scene yeah okay yep this is the one that i'm looking for click on this okay Enlarge it so that you can um, fill the entire slide. Um, and then what you do, you will see here that you can customize the colors of the walls and also the flooring. Uh, so here I'm going to, now since I'm going to put a large blackboard here, I just need to change one of the colors here make it really simple uh, you can customize make it really to your personal taste later on here i'm going to click on let's just click on this one and see which one so that color so go ahead to here and i'm gonna make it the same color okay and then the flooring i'm going to change that to something a little bit um lighter 
Okay, maybe that something like that. That's okay. That's just okay. This is a bit lighter. That's fine. Right. We're going to now use Canva list here, which I find really useful in setting up a um, virtual classroom from scratch. You know, you don't have to really look for the these elements, the decoration, um, the you know the the sofa, the the chairs, and so on. Um, so we're going to select on that blackboard. We're going to copy that, and then we're going to paste in in here. I like to make it quite big. Okay. Right, something like that would be nice. All right, and then the next thing is to put in a few things in the um, in the front here. Yeah? Uh, so I'm going to choose a that single setty. Going to flip it horizontal, make it bigger. Okay, and then I think the rest you can do it on your own if you want to, or you can just follow along. I'm going to choose one of these really nice uh, plants, click on this, copy again. Okay. Put it on a corner. So maybe certain parts of the video, I'll just um, speed it up. That looks quite um, interesting already. I really like this interior. Uh, I put a smile on my face. So now I'm going to find the finer ones. Um, like um, what we have here. Let's just see. So we have coffee, a rug, molecule, and you have cat. I think the rest will be okay. Let's just, um, so let's go for, go back to elements. Going to go for coffee. I cannot um, do with a coffee. I have to have it every day. Yeah. The good thing about Canva is that if we choose one, um, it will have these magic recommendations where it gives you a similar um, elements. And let's just see what Canva recommends. Okay. Again, I'll I'll just stick to this one. The um the cup, the holder, um or the hand is not showing in here at all. So it's okay. I'll I'll just keep it as it is until I find a better looking coffee. Okay. I think that's that's probably okay at the moment. Right. And then we're going to find and uh, still under elements, we're gonna find cats. Oh really nice ones. That's quite angry looking cat. Oh that's interesting color. Something really lazy looking cat. This is quite nice. Oh, that's playful. Maybe a little bit more realistic. Yeah. Oh, I know what I've gone wrong. I'm going to just use a singular rather than a plural. So that's the cat that we're looking for. Let's look for... That's the one I used earlier. Okay. In my uh, first design. So in here, we're going to just look. Ah, that's quite interesting. I'm going to just use this. Okay, there are more here now. 
appearing so this is also why i love about canvas that the uh, that new feature relatively new feature magic recommendations give you something similar and makes it makes things much more easier uh, to get really cool um, awesome uh, graphics uh, in canva and what's more awesome as well you can then uh, also customize the colors in here of the cat okay i'm, I'm happy with this color i don't need um, to change the color of the cat at all and then i think that's fine okay can i adjust it here and I, then I need to find a molecule so, uh, because this is a chemistry class. Let's just go for molecule. A number of it. Um, for your information, I'm using Canva Pro account. So you might see more choices in here. And I think you can also find good um, elements in Canva. A free account as well all right let's find maybe let's just it's slightly different from the one that i have earlier what happens here why i'm not i'm, I'm still looking for where to where to put it is because is not showing a, a good contrast um, so i'm i can change that but i'll i'll go for other molecule i'll stick to this because i like somehow i like this i hope the cat doesn't spill kick or push the cup of coffee we have three things in here on the table we have books um next is to have myself in there uh, uh avatar actually so i already have some um that i have uploaded you can see my earlier video on bitmoji virtual classroom tutorial and that will show you how i can get bitmoji into canva and here i'm going to use something like that so that is on this side i'm gonna just flip this avatar can you see this this like um shadow you can use uh, the background remover in canva which i also made a video of it and i share it on youtube so I'm, I'm going to leave it there because the focus of this video is to show you how you can create a virtual classroom in Canva. This is a pro element. Um, if you want to see what's available as free element, you can click on free, apply filters. And there are some free here. You can choose. Let's try this one very simple rug and then to position it you can go to position to the back or to the back or the bottom from this side it looks as, as if it's actually to the bottom so one more layer so now it's done and then i can move it accordingly okay that's pretty much more or less the main theme of the um of the interior of my classroom virtual classroom what's left in here is to add in the landscape in this in this uh, in these two windows and also the uh, agenda or the topic of the day that you want to teach uh, in your virtual classroom to look for landscapes you can then Need to clear the search criteria and then look for landscape you can see that let's see what they have really nice really nice landscape here let's go for something something like this oh let's go for free now what what do they offer as free landscape These are like really nice icons 
if you especially if you want to do infographics or if you want to sell um, some branding materials these are quite good yeah I don't know let's see I haven't tried this this ones before so let's see whether it's working place it there over the window okay and going to change the position to backwards can you see that the scenery that you see uh, when you look at the windows and and I love um, going to the sea so I'm gonna just look for something a bit more um, interesting something maybe something like, yeah this is probably okay so let's go to this side and then push it to the back layer okay it looks quite good now the last thing we need to do is to then put in the agenda to head to the text add subheading you can choose the text from here or you can choose the text from the top let's see what do they give sometimes canva also recommend some really nice fonts together with these um, elements so let's just see this one yeah that's not too bad so we'll put what i do next is duplicate the text duplicate and this is where you can start giving instructions to your students or list down the agenda of a meeting, online meeting um, in this uh, text. When you have all the text ready and you want to use it to make a hyperlink, what you do is simply select the text, go to this three dots and we're gonna click on link i'm gonna paste the link click apply and it's already linked that way okay you can see that the interior of our virtual classroom is already completed looks good you have the uh, landscape you have a clock and then you have this agenda for your class uh, accompanied by a cat that's winking at you um, a coffee which is a must and uh, some molecules books you know you have a rug there so the whole thing with a potted plant so the, the whole thing looks uh, quite interesting and fun i'll just like to present here this particular um, slide or virtual classroom i'm going to present it here whether you use google meet zoom webex or any online meeting apps you can use this virtual classroom to present your lesson or your training session and i think it's quite fun to to use it when you want to show a video you can click on the link and it'll take you to the youtube website Two more tips before wrapping up the session the first one a super fun activity that you can do with the students is to ask them to create their own virtual classroom uh, perhaps as a group or perhaps you can use it as also as an individual project they can post their reading materials um, the videos that they have found during their search uh, in here and uh, do head to i'm going to just go down to the bottom and you can ask them to go through these um, templates so they can start straight away you don't have to really you know scour and look for um, the furniture for example uh, in this case let me just um, add in this really nice setup a classroom setup with a settee uh, with the books to read or for, for students you know reading materials references they have used what they have done so far in here 
And um, this is quite a nice um, activity for them, a fun activity for them to create their own, play along and learn about Canva. So something they can actually use for their presentation as well. And the second one, if you want to have different ambience or different feel to your design, you can head to, if you go down here, you can head to styles. Clicking onto any of these will change the text in here and also the color scheme of your virtual classroom. So I think you're going to have fun with this here. Yeah? So let's see um, if I were to change it to my brand color. Let's have a look at this. Before you do anything, make sure you duplicate it here. Yeah? So you can see that uh, the walls are um, light gray and the blackboard has become like my turquoise, light turquoise co color. And even the cat has changed colors as well. Go to any of these and see which um, the styles that you like. The beauty of the styles in here is you can quickly change the color scheme and the text in your uh, virtual classroom with just one click. So that would give you um, a number of styles to choose on for your different session, different lessons using this virtual classroom scenes. You can create um, a Bitmoji virtual classroom in Canva from scratch, from uh, the uh, scenes. This virtual classroom is quite personalized with my own avatar. And, um, and I feel that it's something that you can share with your students and something a bit more fun and interesting than a simple slide presentation. With that, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section on YouTube. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. So I see you in the next tutorial.